Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records Mode Let's Play as Kong Rong. This should be a good episode for us today. I think we're actually going to become king. It's very likely, given the circumstances we're in right now. Well, I should say that we're in overall, because right now we're in uh, slightly dire straits. We have a battle coming up where we are severely outnumbered. It's not a very important settlement. I don't mind if I end up losing it per se, but I do need to be... Um, I'd like to try and cause some damage to the enemy army. If nothing else, I might slow them down, so I am going to try and fight this one. I was maybe contemplating delegating it just because it's... Almost certainly not going to be a victory, but hey, if we can get some hurt done, that'll be good for us. Now, before I do dive in, I just want to mention really quickly, as always, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue at pace, make sure you let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It makes a huge difference, as I've said countless times before, and uh, I will be addressing some of those comments in just a moment's time. But first things first, let's deal with Tong Yurui and, uh, and, and show her the power of Kong Rong. Hong Rong on Tong. I don't, this, these, I'm, these rhymes are killing me. Let's do this. All right, this should be whoa, pretty interesting. Sorry, uh, I have up, I have sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? Activated the debug camera uh, that I like to use for my cinematic shots that I'm doing for my tutorial series that has just kicked off as of yesterday. So if you want to check that out, it is on the channel. Um, if you need any, you know, guidance or anything, the first episode has been released. Uh, more to come shortly. Now. Let's see if we can win this one. They're all coming down this one funnel. It's the archers that I'm kind of worried about. What I'm thinking of doing is pulling back a little bit, allowing the archers to move forward. They'll have to if they want to fire at me. And then we can hold on to these towers and uh, fire away at them, allow our uh, cavalry to perhaps come in from this side, push in, get a nice side rear charges into some of these archers, maybe get those G Militia to engage. G Militia will not do well against my Saber Infantry. And if I come in with rear charges, they'll all break, and it'll just be the generals left in charge of nothing, hopefully. Uh, again, I am fairly certain that I'm not going to win this one, but hey, you gotta try, right? You can't score if you don't shoot. Uh, let's begin. Let's begin. See what we can do. You're right at the edge there. Let's start firing away immediately. These guys are too far away from there. Yeah, and this one's definitely too far away, but let's go ahead and get our cavalry up over here. And make sure we're moving in as quickly as possible. Yeah, you're already taking some damage. Loose formation. That's okay. You're still kind of clumped up. I can just get these guys to give up. Oh, 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 clever AI using fire against my towers. Wasn't expecting that against the uh, from the AI, if I'm completely honest. Let's go. We gotta cut this road short a little bit. Ah, huh, I learned from they learned from me and my wife, I guess. We might want to change our targets here. Oh, these guys are already, oh no, this isn't good. <laughs> this this is not good. Um Oh my god. Fire at literally, literally anything. Let's go. Need to scare these guys off before they set this one alight as well. I wish you could, like, put out fires, but... Nope, there it goes. Alright, this is not good. This is gonna go worse than expected. There we go. Tower's still firing away for now. Get you up there. Get you up there. In we go, in we go. Formation's good. That's not good for uh, taking charges. Need to be very careful here because they do have G Militia. I'll be careful against that. In we go. Alright, let's pull you around this way. Want to intercept these archers before they get back there. Move up there. Pull you back. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Bust through these archers. Pull both of you back. There we go, good hits. Turn you around, go up this way. Pull you up this way, let's go. Yes, 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 okay, excellent. Keep pulling you away. There we go, charge up there, please. Good stuff, let's go over here. How are we doing? Pull you up. Alright, in we go. Get you down over here. Try and completely shatter these units rather than uh, allowing them to live. Right, pull you back up. Good charge over here, eh, decent enough. Keep chase on you. Turn you around, get a charge on these guys from behind. If we can break them, that'd be great as well. In we go. Stuff. Pull you away. That's good. 
what's going on. Unfortunately, the towers have been burnt out, but that's fine. Let's move up, make sure they can't get through there. Get you up there. Bring you around, get a nice charge on the Saber Militia over here. Excellent, and pull through. If we can pull through, that'd be great. Get over here. These guys have shattered. Those guys are about to as well. This is good. These guys are about to engage. Let's go ahead and press up a little bit. Okay, you can't pull through, then pull out. Pull you down this way. Keep on them. You guys are going to engage, and then I can come in with my own rear charges. In fact, I want to prepare for that. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, get out of there. Go, go, go. <laughs> that was a bad charge for me. All right, here we go. Counter charge time. Not just going to give these guys their charge bonus. I want to take it myself as well. All right, engaged. In we come. Give these guys a good charge, but no, I think I want to come in first. Pull you back in. You know, let's eliminate this. We're going to hold the line here okay. Not great. That was not a good charge. Going back. Are y'all in? These generals are going to win the battle, aren't they? <laughs> oh. We are holding the line, you know, kind of. Go. Don't get intercepted. Don't get intercepted. Let's go. These guys must be exhausted. They're very tired, yeah. And turn around and charge the G militia here real quick. Okay. Pull away right away. Our warriors run. Those guys are not having a good time. These guys are not going to have a good time either for too long. Let's pull you back. Let's charge up here. Okay, just got to keep cycling. Just got to keep cycling. All right, good charge up there, I think. Yep, good damage. Bring you back around over here against the G Militia, please. Here we go. Decent. Nice. All right. They are wavering. Got to pull away real quick. A nice rear charge over here. These guys are back in the fight. In we come. 161... Drop them. Good, good, good. They're starting to break. Pull you back again. Back a little further. Not the best charge. Pull you away. Go, let's go, let's go before these spears come in. Let's get another rear charge over here. Face these guys down, maybe. Try to make sure they don't come back into the fight. How many of them are there? 122. Good charge. Not the greatest. Let's pull back. I need more of a run-up over here. Oh, are there archers back? No, that's my towers firing. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Okay, give them some time over here. We're okay. We're okay. This isn't uh, atrociously bad. Turn around. Get a good charge here. As I'm sure you can. Come on. 85 of them. Take it down. Nice. Beautiful charge. Will you wait? This is still a problem. But they're close to giving up already. Stay on the G militia there. Make sure they don't return. This is a huge clump. Ying Du needs to be taken care of. Go charge into him, see if he's going to give up on the fight. And comes the other strategist? No, she does not. Come on. You know you don't want to fight. You know you're not enjoying this. Pull you back. Try and get a charge into the G militia over here. Which way are they facing? Oh, they're about to start moving. Go. Oh. Yeah, we got out. Go and get in there. Thanks. Pull you away. And let's pull you away as well. All right, not terrible. Get in there. And... Oh, did these guys just completely give up on the fight? Yeah. Not want to come back in. Go. Go. See what we can do here. Swords are holding the line, so that's good and helpful. This is not going to be good for me. Oh, it wasn't terrible either. Oh, you know what? That was actually great. Pull away. 
And pull you away as well. Let's go. Nice. Progress. Go, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're good back there. Let's turn you around and pull you in towards the Saber Militia. Hopefully that's enough of a run-up for a good charge over here. We might even get these guys to break. The G Militia over there. Ah, no, they've stopped wavering. Good hit. Okay, all right. Something, it's something. Okay, you need to stop chasing me. Oh, they've given up. They've given up. She's given up. They've all given up. Yes, our victory grows ever closer. I can't believe we're holding on to this. There it is. All right, let's turn around, take that Saber Militia out. I don't think there's much chance of eliminating the uh, the generals, unfortunately. I can try and rotate around, get rid of the Saber Militia over here. Maybe... Yeah, no. Let's disengage, let's chase after at least Ying Du over here. Doing okay up there? Yeah, you're cutting them now. Wanna make sure this army can't come back at us too easily. And I'd love to drop at least one of their generals. I do have my <laughs> towers firing away. Oh my god, those towers are so powerful. Look at that. Just dropping like flies. Turn you up here. The t ah, there we go. I was like, the tower's gonna do the work. There it is. Alright. How's the G militia? They're probably pretty badly beaten. I even see. Alright, yeah, there's one left. Pull you back over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Charging in there. Hold her in place, and I don't think she'll be close enough for my towers. Oh, she is. Hello. Alright, let's see what we can do. And I'm pretty sure I can speed time up now. Excuse me, I said to fire here. They're firing at the uh, Saber Militia. Which I do not need. I don't need you fire. You're still firing up there. Come on. 35 becomes... There we go, we're firing down here now. Nice, very nice. And she's gonna get away, unfortunately. But we did a lot of damage. Oh, no, she's just inside. Nah, yeah. That's too bad. I probably could have finished her off. I don't think this tower is going to be able to fire at her. Ah, uh, yeah. She's too too far gone. I don't know if my cavalry is going to be able to catch up. They are coming in pretty hot. That's good. They're exhausted, but she's probably exhausted now, too. Yep. Yep. Now, I want to apologize really quickly, by the way. If you guys can hear any, like, loud crashing in the background, I try to time my recording. There's construction going on up and down my street, and this is construction season in Toronto. Um, but it seems like people have decided to come back from lunch a little early today. And unfortunately, um, there's a little bit of clattering going on. I've been trying to soundproof this room as much as possible. Um, so I just want to apologize if something is still getting through, because I'd, ideally it won't. Ideally it won't. Also, I just noticed something. I turned the music off for recording my uh, guide videos. I gotta turn it back on. So I'm actually going to do a quick cut uh, after this battle as I, uh, <laughs> as I figure out, what, as, I, as I get the music working again. But hey, a close victory. Which is great to see, because I was so certain that uh, we were going to lose this town. Push them back well enough, I think. Push them back well enough. Nice. <laughs> we killed them both. We killed them both. Uh, let's see. Replenishment might not be a terrible idea right now. In case something comes back. Let's go ahead and take the replenishment. Back you go. Back you go. I forgot it was in between turns. Ooh, 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 that's not good. <laughs> I mean, they're not at war with me, apparently. Thalpi has been succeeded by Shen and Shu. Okay, fair enough. And then Shen and Shu was <laughs> succeeded by Gu Yong. What happened there? That's weird. Gu Yong commanded their vassal to join a war against Her Yi. Fair enough. And like the wind, not satisfied with winning the battle, our general overtakes the retreating enemy troops and lays a successful ambush, further reducing the numbers that can stand against us. Ma Dai. I'm guessing that's the battle that happened over here last session. Fair enough, fair enough. Lu Bu commanded Han to join their war against me. That's a problem. That is a huge undefended border down over, uh, down over here. That's a problem. Okay, sign a peace treaty with Gu Yang. Okay, cool. Don't think I care about that so much. Uh, Tong Yurui has a regent now. Cool. That's what they get for pushing their luck. 
and Dao Ying joined a war alongside Gu Yong against oh, the Ultimate Rebellion. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Cool. Lost the deserted city of Tong An. That's fine. Probably lost it to that. I think that's the one down over here that we lost to the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Okay, again, not the end of the world. Uh, I'm not desperate to hold on to some of these territories, especially the more abandoned ones. I love the description that some of you used for uh, for um, Sun Jen, a paper tiger, um, in the comments. All right, so that's fine. And then Ying. Oh, this is Shang Dang that we've lost. That's fine. Ooh, Sima Yi. Sting? Sima Yi. All right, it appears that Sima Yi, a famed... Oh, I guess it would be Sima Yi. Sorry, I, I haven't practiced this name yet, and uh, I don't have anyone I can consult right now. But I'm pretty sure it'd be Sima Yi, based on the other things. Um, a famed recluse has forsaken his isolation to offer his talents to a warlord. A warlord obviously in possession of admirable powers of persuasion. Is he with... I recall correctly. Will he be with Cao Cao? Ooh, hey. We're getting along. Oh, we're getting along a lot. Well, that's good. I thought we were hating each other. Anyway, um... Well, that's that's an interesting development. Lots of developments. Oh my god, more rebellions imminent. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine, folks. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna get the, the music back in on this game. There we go. That's a lot better. A lot better. Okay, so a couple of things that I need to uh, take care of today. We've got one siege going already at Henai. Henai? Henai? I've never... This one I just haven't got yet. Shouldn't be too much of a problem with Kong Rong in charge. The garrison over here is pitiful. Uh, we could starve them out, and I'm kind of tempted to starve them out. I'll explain why in a moment. And up over here, Deng Jiang is able to roll in on the, on the city of Yi as well. Over here too, I imagine, yeah, their garrison is pitiful. Should not be a problem for either of our generals to roll these cities uh, in no time. Ooh, this isn't good. What I was going to say is that I'm tempted to not rush these cities because of our food situation. The moment I get those cities, um, they are going to reduce my food, how much food is available because they're going to have that distribution thing going on. And uh, I am... Kind of not in the best position as far as food is concerned. I could try to um, trade some more food in. Look what's going on down over. Yeah, I see all these places that we can't... Uh, we're not even leveled up enough for some of these places. We're going to lose a lot of these places too. This just adds plus one. Like, I imagine between these two cities, we're going to get to like negative 21 or something. What's the, it's a, let's see, this is a regional city? Yeah, so a regional city does what for me? There we go, regional city is minus 24 food production. Oh my god. And then the city over here itself is, um, minus six. Yikes. That makes me very uncomfortable, actually. I mean, up over here, we're too far away from the farmland, unfortunately. And we really should apply pressure, shouldn't we? This is our opportunity to take that uh, iron mine up there. The other thing I might want to consider doing is peace. Is it finally time for this uh, for this show down to end, as it were? Let's see, what are these imminent rebellions? Gangwu, what's your problem? Down over here, we're a small city. We could probably fight off a rebellion if one comes towards us. Uh, ooh, food options. Plus 50% food production. That'll take you from 4 to plus 2, so it'd be okay. A little bit more. This is really... Oh no, okay, so we've got 2 and 4. 6 would become... This is huge. That's actually really big. Am I about to exempt them from taxes though? No, I think with the city they'll be able to hold uh hold their ground. So I could do I mean I could do the I could do the workforce distribution office conversion. It'll be cheaper and faster. And I could um you know instant construct to get the food happening, but it's fifty percent only is the problem. Whereas this is a hundred percent bump and I could also instant construct. 
Okay. That's one option. Um, that's uh, Kangwu. Changwu. Okay, and Ling Ling over here. We can get rid of your tax exemption. It's not going to make a difference to our... Oh, it is going to make a difference to our food. Okay. Negative 28. We can take that for a couple of turns. See, the thing is, I don't want supplies to go down. If we can just stick it out until faction support catches up as it needs to, things will be a lot better. Let's add another one to our food production. Um, just trying to figure out the options here, folks. I could build this instead. That'll add another two. Or I can do this. And then I can upgrade only one of them. Like, I can only instant upgrade one of them, I mean. Okay. And again, this is with taxes increased, is the problem as well. I don't want to have to rely on that. Over here, we could up food production as well. Again, it'll take three turns. We don't have anybody free for assignments. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm not sending assignments. I could recall somebody and then send them out again, but... Um, I'm pretty happy with how they're assigned right now. We know it's making us money. That's, I guess, the important thing. I could go with this here as well. Right, plus 100% food production. That'll bump this up. Alternatively, I give this... Yeah, yeah, this will double it. So, okay, let's go ahead and take this upgrade. We'll get rid of the... Well, we'll keep them tax-exempt now so that when the upgrade is done, we'll be able to... Oh. Oof, that's a big difference. Oh, you know what? Why that public order change? Oh, because there's a rebellion here. There it is. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine, then. In that case, we'll definitely tax them. In fact, that reminds me. Yeah, where are our other rebellions? Make sure that they're not tax-exempt. I mean, it doesn't matter over here whether they are or aren't. Um, that's one. Go ahead and dismiss you. There's another one. Hene, Hene. Ooh. Where? Ah, there we go. Up there in the farmland. Ah, that's not good. That's not good. So I have to be really quick over here so I can move up to there quickly. Okay. Um, then we've got another one at Beihai. Also not good, but again, I do believe we'll be able to fend them off pretty easily. And then at Xiangdang, but we saw the result of that already. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. And then where is this rebellion imminent? Ohai. Oof, that's not good. I don't want to give you tax exemption. We are pretty close. We can just roll in and take care of them if, uh, if we need to. We're like right there. Ohai is there. It's like two turns away. You know what? I think I do need to move in aggressively, folks. A little bit of negative food is not the end of the world. Um, because we have food reserves across the board, so we'll be able to last a couple of turns. I think we'll be able to last three turns as we wait for some of these upgrades to finish, and that might be enough to take us over, um... I think in three turns, for example, faction support will get a lot better, so public order reduction from that will not be as bad. And hopefully food will be okay as well. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Also, uh, some of you were suggesting in the comments that I should consider adopting... Wait, what are you... Did I, I actually sent her out on an assignment? <laughs> uh, whoops. Interesting. Um, some of you were suggesting that I should adopt some of these people. I don't have the money right now, but that's definitely a funny, um... Funny option. I could make him my son, if you catch my if you catch my pun. It'll make him happier. The relationship will deepen. Um, I don't know if I. I mean, it'd be it'd be pretty amazing to adopt Sun Jian. The reason why I'm not executing them, as some of you suggest in the comments as well, is because they are powerful characters, and I would like like they have unique equipment. They're powerful characters. They're powerful individuals. The only reason Liu Bei and his uh, ilk died, or his kin died, was because they purposely stood against me. We annexed Sun Jian. He did not, you know, fight us. Uh, so we're treating him... We're going to treat him well. We're going to treat him well. You know what? We're going to go ahead and roll into these cities as well. Uh, we'll try and make some money and maybe rush some of those food constructions. And we'll try and adopt 
at least maybe Sinjian or something and uh, make all that work. Also, another thing I want to address before we go in for these battles is that... Uh, uh, so ma many of you uh, have pointed out that I'm not necessarily doing what Kong Rong would have done. And uh, I totally appreciate those comments and it's perfectly fair to say because it's true. I'm not doing what Kong Rong would have done. But what Kong Rong did uh, got him killed, right? He, he, the dude died. Uh, he, was, uh, he was executed for treasonous speech. And, uh, and then when his body was left in the streets, nobody even went to recover it. Like none of his old friends went to recover it because of what he'd done. So yeah, I'm playing as Kong Rong, but I'm playing as a successful Kong Rong, not the one that dies uh, and his body is like left to rot in the middle of the road. So yeah, things are a little different. <laughs> things are a little different. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive on in. Going to... Um, the question is, which one do I want first? Let's go ahead and continue the siege really quickly. Do I want to take their city? That'll be a uh, that'll be a quote unquote easier battle, or do we want to take Henai? 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 Other thing here. Oh, you have the no. The other thing here. Oh yeah, we. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was like, where the hell did it go? Okay, there it is. So we'd have either commandery fully secured, and I'm I'm almost certain that the next victory. Oh yeah, almost definitely the next victory will take us to king, if not uh, the next two. All right, you know what? Let's dive on into uh, the city of Yi first. We'll take our time. I will be patient. We'll use our trebuchet. The garrison here does not stand a chance against us. In fact, even the game I think said uh, Peric victory, so we can hopefully turn that around and make it even better than that. Alternatively, we wait until they die out a little bit. Maybe they'll sally forth. We'll take fewer losses. No, you know what? Dang Yan's too close and he might respond. Let's go ahead and dive on in. There's no time to waste. Let's begin. Alright, this should be good. Let's try and find a good angle of approach, I assume. Actually, this looks like the right way to go. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. There's too many towers. Way too many towers. Okay, okay. Oh my god. This is going to be devastating for our forces, no matter which way we try to cut it. Um, I can try and blast a bunch of holes in the walls over here, take out these towers, and then move up to the city center this way. That seems like the most viable option right now. Uh, these gatehouses and this arrow tower, oh, that's going to be a problem. That's got full coverage. Um, you've got, oh, wow, that's got full coverage too. Oof. This is a, this is a well-defended city. Don't appreciate that. Don't appreciate that at all. I uh, don't want to go this way because that'll be... We'll have to go around this way. So it's either side, it looks like. Or we can go in from here as well. But this is probably going to have the same situation. we got these towers. Yikes. Alright, this will be interesting. I think I prefer one of these sides. Only because there's a bit of an open area over here that we can maybe use. Uh, and what I might want to do actually... Sounds risky, but what I might want to do is not destroy the gatehouse. Instead, I need to find the ideal spot here. This one is protected by one, two, three, four, this section over here. Five even, unless I go really tight over there, okay. And then up over here, is it symmetrical? We're looking at a different section. We've got one, two, three, four. Yikes. Not going to be easy, that's for sure. Oh, we can do this, I think. No. It'll be one, two, three, four. And we'd get up over here. But if I focus on just the towers... Right, then I can break this wall section, send my spears in with their 100% uh, ranged block chance, crawl them up, try to capture these uh, fort towers uh, while the trebuchet take care of these towers back there, and then we should have a safe enough time going up to the city center. Let's try it. Let's try it. I am exceptionally nervous. <laughs> exceptionally nervous. So again, we're going to set you up over here. We're going to destroy these walls, and then we're going to destroy these towers. Unfortunately, we have to destroy all of them. 
Gonna try and be very conservative with my ammunition. Can't waste too much. We'll have to take care of this arrow tower and this arrow tower as well. Those overlapping fields of fire are deadly as all hell. Go ahead and get you lot set up. To this side. I think once the... Um, once this tower is taken care of, because we are going to try and destroy that one. Once that tower is taken care of, we can move these guys up. Okay, wall section, this tower, those towers. That's the plan. That's the plan, folks. Okay, let's go ahead and get you set up with the cavalry. Um, over here. Because I'll, I'll, I'll keep this tower... Fine, I think. Let's see. This tower reaches... So if I focus over there... That's a tiny gap over there that we can use without having to destroy these two towers, but... I don't know how well that's going to work. Get you back a little bit so we can put our spears up front. Get you in that turtle stance. There we go. Turtle stance. <laughs> turtle formation. There we go. Yeah, we'll move them through this gate section. We need a wider gate section, I think. All right, that's fine. Go ahead and get you back over here, buddy. Let's go ahead and get our sword set up as well. Now, their uh, their charge, their range block chance only increases by plus 35%, so not going to send them in first. Okay, I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is a pretty risky battle, but hopefully it goes well enough for us. Turn off fire at will, please. And uh, let's try and uh, take this city. Fire away over here and over here. All right. And come the shots. And then hopefully we'll get... Again, it all depends on the accuracy. So far, so good. Feeling fairly good about that. I'm fairly good about that. Come on, break them. Oh, very close. Very, very close. Look at all these archers as well. Oh, they're running away. Alright, in comes, I think, one last volley, probably. There we go. There it is. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. So that's all broken. That's probably big enough. I'm trying to save my ammo here. Let's go ahead and hit that fire tower next. That fire tower, that arrow tower. Just the one of you. Fire up there. Hold on. Let me make sure it's the right one. Yep. You fire up there at the arrow tower, and you, we're going to have you firing up at this. Alright, let's try and get this fire started over here. Come on. 61%. Alright, hold your fire. That should alight. Yep. Come on. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, and a hundred. There we go. Beautiful. You fire over here next. Wow, we're really kind of flubbing those shots, aren't we? Hold your fire there. Thirty-one percent. Hold your fire. The fire damage is going up. I'm trying to be very cautious over here. I think. Need to get it above 50. Come on. Come on, let's go. Playing it so cautiously right now. Hold your fire. One of these has got a hit. There we go. Excellent. So that's taken care of. Work on you next. I think I need to take care of those fork towers, actually. This should be quite helpful. You know, let's let's hold our fire. And let's see if these uh, fires spread naturally. Because you can see this one's already at 35% before my uh, before my volley came through. Possible. Possible. Let's go ahead with the standard round. Looking like it's working. Come on. Trickle over. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's go ahead and try and take out at least... God, oh, this is ridiculous. This fort tower. Yeah, 
Okay, that's catching fire. Cool. One more volley. Come on. Something a bit more accurate would be quite helpful. Nice. Okay. One tower down. Take this one down as well. Yep. Take this one down. That'll allow our archers to come up at least. Okay, good hits. Come on. Give me another three. Well, City's a light, so that's good and helpful. I'm wondering also how long before this thing catches fire. Hopefully soon. Eights have fallen. It's not exactly what I was going for. Seriously. Should have just gone with fire. Alright, that works. So, now, there is no... Of ridge. God, these towers are gonna... God damn, kill me. And we're almost out of ammunition. I want to see what happens over here. Fire damage is at 36%. If that keeps going up... Oh, okay, you know what? I think this tower is gonna... Okay, excellent. That tower is gonna burn. So, let's go ahead and... Try this. You fire up... At that arrow tower, and you fire up at this arrow tower. Give me some good hits, come on. Or you can just kind of miss really far and wide. That works too. In we go. 53%, this is good. Okay, good, we've destroyed their other tower. So now you can turn around and probably focus on some of these archers or something. Use those flaming shots. Get rid of some of these archers. That was almost destroyed. We can scare these archers off. That'll be a huge, huge boon for us. Oh, we're out of ammunition here. Okay, hold your fire. Where's this tower? Please hit. Please take this thing out. One more volley, and I think it's probably our last, looking at our ammunition. Probably our last. Come on, baby. Nice. And it wasn't our last. We have some left. So let's go ahead and fire where? Gonna get clear hits on these guys? The angles aren't great. You know what? These guys. Do it. And while that's happening, go ahead and get you guys... Moving up. You lot. Ready to fire. Is that it? That was the last shot. Let's see if this one hits true. You know what? It did. That works for me. City is set alight. Let's go. Okay, let's move. Archers are moving as well. Cavalry. We could rush you in. Alright, in come the shots. There we go. There we go. Die for me. Fire nearby as well. Our shots are coming in from up on high. This is good. They're going to turn around and shoot at us. Not for very long. Not for very long at all. Hey, fire over here next. Now, some of our archers are obviously with less range, but it's okay. They're coming on up. Our cavalry is being ignored, which is good. These guys are being focused down on here. Ooh, hello, spears. I see you're not braced. Ooh, I see you're trying to get braced. Pull up over here. Make sure these guys have some room to... There we go. Get in there. In comes their cavalry. Is our charge. Let's pull you up. Pull you over here. Actually, pull away, pull away, pull away. I'm gonna try and get right out of that town center. There's the archers that we want to eliminate. Pull. Barricade's been destroyed. Alright, gotta be careful here. 
Gotta be very careful here. Don't want to lose Zhang Jian. Pull you back. So cool watching the armies move like this. They've given up. Excellent. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get you out of there. Okay, let's push you through this way now. Up over here, we're engaged. I should sit. Let's pull you back this way. Need to get through the barricade. Oh, it's destroyed. Oh, these guys. <laughs> They're not sticking around for very long, are they? Come on, I gotta pull these guys back. Let's go in here. These guys are not braced. We should be able to charge them, no problem. They're not at all braced. In we go. Crossbows decide to walk through the gate. Cover crossbows. Cover crossbows. Let's pull you back. Of course the enemy runs. Okay, push up over here. Push you up over here as well. How are we doing? This charge should finish this off, no problem. Got some towers back over here able to fire, so let's keep our distance from that. Go up over here. Well, let's go. Sandwich this nonsense. Keep you a safe distance away from those spears, please. Keep you firing over here, though. Here we go. Very good. They've broken. Pull you back. Stay away from the G unless we're coming from behind like these cavalry are doing. Like this cavalry is doing. Grammar. They keep pulling away. And Jiang's moving in as well. Coming in for the charge. She doesn't fear spears. Fear no spear. Here we go. It hits. And we're just going to travel through. Pull you back. And you in. We are capturing their city. You're damn right we are. In we go. Beautiful charges. Beautiful charges. Alright. This shouldn't last much longer. Yeah, these guys are giving up as well. Pretty sure that's that, folks. Pretty sure that's that. There you go. There you go. God. Waiting on some of those shots to land, though. Oof. Decisive victory. Sounds good to me. Waiting on some of those shots. You know, it actually wasn't that long a battle. It just feels long because so much time is spent laying out the, the shots and stuff. But it's very important because otherwise we would have been butchered. Butchered at the gates. Damn right. Only 112 lost. Oh my god, that feels great. Against all these walls and all. Now, I could loot and occupy it. It would drop the population significantly. But the money could help me get so much food happening right away. I'm not going to sack and withdraw. But loot and occupy seems like the right call here, folks. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Just because if I just occupy, we take a little bit of money. The faction support is a big thing as well. But we're in the area. So if a rebellion pops, I'm not too worried about a rebellion in this region. Um, so, you know, let, let that happen. But it's the money right now that can help quell a lot of issues elsewhere. So loot and occupy, it's going to be, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Element level will be reduced. It's not the end of the world. I'm just trying to do all the quote unquote math in my head, so to speak. Uh yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I need the money. The time of the Han is ended. The will of heaven is shifting. The celestial empire rests on the tip of a sword. The Emperor's old champions now stoke their own imperial ambitions. The old ways scatter like leaves before the coming storm. Their time is over. Change is carried on the wind. There it is, folks. We're King Kong now, baby. What's up? All right. Your power is both feared and coveted. Your diligent effort and your integrity have rewarded you. <laughs> Through the honesty and resolve of your legacy, you have risen to become king. China is better for your efforts, but no, you cannot rest yet. Challenger for the throne. Cao Cao. Of course. Of course it was going to be Cao Cao. All right. Another warlord has declared themselves emperor. Is this the will of heaven or are they a traitorous dog to be put to the axe? You bet they're going to be put to the axe. Fun fact about Kong Rong's death. Cao Cao was involved on the other side. Gong Lan Shu. Another warlord has declared themselves emperor. Okay. Same. Gong Lan Shu. Gong Lan Shu. Where are you? 
down over here. <gasps> that means my... Oh, both of my targets are to my south. The Kingdom of Shu Han. Declared a war on Gu Yong. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Three kingdoms. With another pretender declaring their intent, there are now three kingdoms vying to bring an end to the chaos. The puppet Han Emperor abdicates Lu Bu to Gong Lan Shu. Times are changing for all. The Emperor, long a puppet of other warlords, has abdicated, and with him the Han Dynasty has ended. Who will bring peace to our turbulent lands? Oh. Wait, so, nope, still at war. <laughs> Still at war. But there you have it, folks. We are now the kingdom of Qi against the kingdom of Wei and the kingdom of Shu Han. All right. All right. Feels goddamn fantastic. I knew it was either going to be after the next victory or the one after that. Looks like food is actually doing okay. Oh, because you're completely destroyed. I see. I see. Okay. Sounds good. Question mark. Uh, we are able to fix some things over here to get some more food happening. Might as well do that, get the extra food production off of you as well. We've got the money right now. This is our first decree as king, is to repair this settlement, of course, and to get a Secretariat of Yuan set up. I like the name Yuan. <laughs> uh, I wonder if, because now I should be able to do a couple things. We've had this available for a while, we can get a Prime Minister. Uh, imagine making Sun Jian my Prime Minister. <laughs> that would not be a good idea. That would not be a good idea. Um, we're not going to do that. But I can afford to adopt him now. Cost 4000 Okay, I don't have that kind of money to waste right now. That's all of our money, basically. Okay, I'm feeling fairly good right now about the situation at hand. Um, but yes, as king, we are able to... From 190 to 208. That's not... Hmm, cool, okay. 18 years? Okay. Um... Increase your prestige, blah, 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 blah. Armies provided some... Yep, 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 yep. Just more trade agreements. And more spy positions. I should maybe use that. Yingchuan, Jiaozi, and Runan. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a look at our... I mean, I should maybe send some spies over. Where is... So that's the kingdom of Shuhan, and that's the kingdom of Wei. There's no way that Cao Cao and I are getting along anymore, right? Oh no, attitude is neutral. Nah, trending towards negative 35. I'm guessing strategic threat, or was it war atrocities against your friends? We're not at war yet, though. We're not at war. It doesn't, like, automatically throw you into war. I'm glad I didn't give Cao Cao any more territory. Um, and I actually become... No, no one wants to be an ally. Uh, Gongsun Zen, how you feeling, man? How you feeling? Confederate. Never. But why not? We've been friends for so long. What if I uh, make us an alliance? Oh, right, that involves... I'm confused why Gongsun Zen does not want to do that. But it's fine, it's fine. Any quick deals for trade monopolies? Yes, Deng, Ninqin, possibly. Wait, there's quick deals for Confederate? No. <laughs> it's like, why even highlight that? No one's going to say yes. It's not even a maybe over here. Um, wait, Great Vassal also knows. All right, trade monopoly. You. Quiet, yeah. For twelve twenty-six per turn, make this work. You just want one lump sum payment. That's really not a problem for me. Go ahead and propose that deal. Sounds good. Yeah, very well indeed. Um. Dao Ying. I find it hilarious when they don't want their independence to be supported. Are you serious? You want land and silk? No. Get lost. Get lost. I'm a king now. I don't have time for that kind of nonsense. Alright, occupation. This is what? Oh, this is all the stuff that happened. Alright, fair enough. Jeez, there's so many notifications. This is actually giving me, like, anxiety. Commander secured. Yep. I'm guessing their uh, capital has moved. Regional city and oh, that's that's this. That's about to fall now too. All right, cool. And I figure we should just roll in, right? No reason to wait. Food is still okay, and again, I have the money now to rush some of the other constructions. We're making a lot of money per turn as well. Um, 
This will probably be a tougher fight. It's a regional city. We have just as many trebuchets, so I, I imagine we'll lose more, but we gotta do it before Deng Yan comes here and relieves the siege. Go ahead and dive on in. Close victory, says the game. Oh. Normally it says Pyrrhic victory. I'm wondering if I ought to resolve this. That, that, I mean, I could. Oh, you know what? This could be a pretty tough one. Should be fun. Looks like a beautiful map. Let's go ahead and do this. To the battlefield we go. Alright. Whoa. Keep forgetting I've got that debug camera on. Uh, how do we play this? How do we play this? There's the city center. Ah, this is a big city. There's a lot of towers to cut my way through. And there's this little bridge section over here. A lot of these towers aren't even connected to other buildings, so the fire spreading isn't going to be so helpful. Siege devastation is already in effect a little bit in some of these parts. Like, I wonder if we go through this way. Some of their towers have been destroyed on this side already. As we can see, this tower is gone. Pretty cool seeing the, the effects of the siege. Not sure why there's a random fire out over here. Oh, because I guess they had a trebuchet or something up over here. But it's been destroyed. Okay, so they've got the gates. This tower has been destroyed. So there's a huge blind spot over here that we can rush through. Uh, doesn't seem to be any blind spots over here. Even though my army decided to auto-deploy on that side. Doesn't make any sense, but it's okay. I'll let them have it. Imagine coming in from over here. Holy crap, look at those towers. No thank you. That tower's been taken. Okay, so this is obviously the way we go in. Nothing to fire at us in any of this wall section. We'll take this wall section out. And these towers are able to reach over. So we'll probably try and take these towers out first. All four of these. Mm, we can try just setting them alight and then letting the fire do the job. And then we come in through here or up through there. We'll be fine. Yeah. Cool. Excellent. This should be great. This should be great. And you know what? It's actually very tempting to deploy my cavalry up front a little bit so they're able to charge in. I just don't know where their archers might be, if any. So let's go ahead and keep you over here. As soon as the trebuchet does the work, then maybe we can start rolling in. Get you lined up back here. Um, flaming shots to start. Well, actually, no. Regular shots to start. Just want to make sure we get those walls. Even though the likelihood of us not getting the walls is, like, next to nothing. Just want to play it safe. Let's go ahead and get you guys... Lined up into two. There we go. And... There we go. Just because it's going to be a narrow, narrow section to get through. Um... Group you up. Get you over here as well. This is going to be good. First battle is king. And this is all archers as well, so... You know, that's quite helpful. They've got their fire arrows too, so... Those towers should not be a problem for us, actually, now that I think about it. It's all set up right, though. Go ahead and pull you back a little bit. Make sure we're able to reach all the towers. You two... Oh, you're quite far. And those ones are even farther along. Okay, not a problem. Because we can just do... That. We'll still be away from this, and from up over here, we're able to fire up to there. We cannot get that last set, so we'll have to move forward, and if we move forward, we still won't be within... Re okay, cool. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and pull you over here, Kong Rong. Make sure you don't die on your own over there. That would be quite sad. Uh, and let's, uh, let's begin. Let's turn off your fire at will. Make sure I'm giving you targets. We'll take out this wall section, and uh, then we'll work on those towers. Cool. Let's begin. First battle is king. Yeah, thought so. Back here. Hillary's firing away. You guys, you can't miss like that. Are you serious? I know this angle isn't the best, and I know you're not the same rank, but... Come on. I, I knew their archers were going to be a problem, but did it anyway. Oh man, low tier trebuchet work is not cutting it for me right now. Should be like two shots at most, folks. Okay, getting some work over here. Good. We're guaranteed a gap at the very least, right? Come on. There we go. 
Okay, excellent. Go ahead and turn to fire. And let's fire up over here. Start with this. One more volley should do the trick over here as well. Unless you miss horribly like that. Come on. Come on. Alright, we got a good hit over there. Do it one more. Crazy how much of a difference rank actually makes, eh? Okay, here we go. Wow. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, at least we've got the, the gap over here, so that's good and helpful. There we go. Hold your fire. And you will now fire up over here. Come on. You kidding me? Come on. <laughs> you going to make hits? Even if you set these buildings alight, I'll be I'll be happy enough. Cuz then maybe it'll spread, you know what I mean? Oh. Oh. Some wide shots, folks. These are some wide shots. Okay, well, we've got a fire start over there. Well, that's something. Probably got a fire start over here as well. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, um... Focus on you first. One volley, and if it doesn't make it... Then I'm gonna start focusing on their troops, I think. Because their troops are bigger targets. It's gonna suck going through all those towers, but if I can break all the troops, then that'll do the trick as well. Because the troops are bigger targets. And we're still gonna miss. Are you serious right now? We'll go over here. Hit some of these archers. And our own archers up. Okay, at least we're getting some hits. I'm a little uh, disappointed at my uh, trebuchet, to say the least. They're about to run out of ammunition as well. I was so excited because Kong Rong has such a big ammunition bump for them, but this is our luck. Okay, you know, that works. Looks like we got a fire going on over here as well. That's going to help a lot. You know what, let's go ahead and fire up there. Let's try it, let's try it. This fire is going the wrong direction, but let's try it. Calories. Oops. Able to come here. Come on, give me give me at least a fire. No, not even that. Jesus, these shots are going so wide. <laughs> hey, there we go. We got one. One on the money. Cavalry's coming in right now. Tighten you up. Alright. Fair, fair enough. Push you through, let's go. Gonna run out of ammunition now. Oh, good hit there, I think. 48%. We're just, just short of starting a fire here. They're firing. You know what? Fire over here, archers. Problem solved. Fire over there. You in there. You up there. These guys are going to give up. Excellent. Uh, we can pull you back. Archers are firing up there, scaring these guys off. Use the regular shots. 
Coming up this way. Let's go ahead and pull you up now. We need to die against these spears. Or against these crossbows. Hey, archers are able to fire safely. Yeah, these guys are gonna just get crushed. Go ahead and charge down here. After their tower. What tower? <laughs> that tower was never around to begin with. Alright, firing away. We can come in from the side over here to charge. Go ahead and capture this tower, please. Eat damage while you do it. Why not? Gotta eat some hurt every once in a while, right? And get a good charge in here, I think. Or we can do something weird like this. Not sure exactly what my uh, archers were, or what my cavalry was thinking there, but I'll take it, I suppose. Okay, we're good. Let's turn you around. These guys are giving up. Moving up to hopefully capture this smoothly. I hope. Fire up over here. Hey, okay, captured that very quickly, actually. Go ahead and do the same up here. Yep, excellent. These guys are dropping. Let's pull you away. Try and get a little cycle charging action going on over here. Go. Meanwhile, you get over here with a rear charge. Our archers are coming through. Fire right, with these crossbows, please. Be able to. And up over here, we're about to capture. Yep, stay in loose formation. Get in there. Not a problem. Tower's up there as well, but... We'll deal with those when we get to them. Turn you around. Got a nice rear charge over here. It is going better than I expected. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Hey, you've given up over here as well. Now, to be fair, I have destroyed this city before I've captured it, so... How well is it really going, I suppose? Uh, these towers don't have a lot of coverage. I can actually send these two cavalry units all the way up there. Let's go ahead and get you two to here. Why are you taking damage right now? Let's go, let's go. Come on, no time to waste. Alright, hopefully we'll be able to sandwich those uh, units and destroy them. Firing away at these crossbows still. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of fire here to maybe convince them to leave. A little flaming shot goes a long way. There you have it. A little bit of flaming shot on these guys, and then we'll uh, try and obliterate them. There we go. And regular shots should finish them off very easily. Got so many archers with so much ammunition. Those trebuchet, though. Wow. Honestly. Firing on their sides. Yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Alright, there's the route literally raining. Okay, it's not literally raining, you know what I mean. Are we going? You guys just want to take your time? Okay, I don't think I have that kind of patience. We just need two cavalry units after all. Moving up though, this was a clear path. This was good and easy. I mean, it helped a lot that they were missing some towers and stuff from the get-go, especially with the accuracy of our uh, trebuchet. <laughs> that helped a ton. Oh, hello. We want to change to um, wedge formation. Here we go. They turned their backs at like the last second there. In comes our other unit as well. These guys should break pretty easily, I think. Gonna, there we go. Okay. Excellent. That's probably it, really. Like, what's left? The crossbows, perhaps? Yeah. Well, nope. There goes that. There it is! <laughs> I was like, what's still standing? Why am I still fighting? This battle should be over. And it is. And it is. Hear them chant my name. Decisive victory. Beautiful. Game only said I was gonna get a close one. Now, we did lose a fair number, I think. Some cavalry probably dropped as they were trying to capture a lot of those towers and stuff. But we had to. We had to move in there. We had to move in there.
There you have it, King Kong's first uh, battle as king. We lost only 156. Okay, you know what? That wasn't so bad at all. What was I worried about? Now, do we loot and occupy again? It's a lot of money, but right now money could go a long way for us as I try to restructure everything that I've just conquered. It would also allow me to do some, you know, adoption and stuff if I really want to. Um... You know what? No, let's just let's just occupy this one. It's a pretty high high level city. We're just gonna occupy it. Just gonna occupy it. There's that negative seven to our food right now. Immediately. Uh, that's okay though. That's okay. We have to do a lot of repair work over here. A lot of repair work over here. Um, and that should help our food situation a fair bit. It looks like already. Yeah, that, that that'll that'll help. And then uh, we've got all those constructions going on that we can actually rush out now so that'll be helpful and maybe we can see if somebody wants to trade food with us because uh, we've got money now meanwhile up over here we could push and take Taiyuan and end this war once and for all Gu Yong's capital has moved to here the other option is to offer them peace with confederation we can make it work they'll want some money some ancillaries and you know what I feel like that might be a good way to bring this to an end but I want to know what you guys think. I am now King Kong. This is where the session ends. Let me know if you guys liked it by dropping a like and a comment down below. Hopefully this uh, Kingdom of Qi will take out the Kingdom of Wei and Shu Han with little difficulty. Their capitals are right here, so that's quite excellent. And uh, it helps that I dove into Emperor status quickly. Now I am concerned about Lu Bu and uh, the Han Empire, but perhaps we can figure something out there as well. For now though, ladies and gentlemen, we have gone well over that hour mark. Hope you had fun as always again. Likes and comments go a long way, and a big thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. As I've said countless times, you keep this channel alive and running smoothly. I am very grateful for that, and a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.